Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Gerhard Lundbrook from the University of Cologne, a professor of immunology, uh, one of the great uh, investigators in terms of uh, blood groups and lectins. Uh, interesting conversationalist. I'd like to meet Dr. Lundbrook, who is the author of the speaker's book on Thursday, and uh, was surprised by the, the great length and breadth of his taste and reading material. I think you're in for a first-rate uh, experience and, uh, because of the sheer uh, magnitude of uh, this man's career. And uh, yet, at the same time, I, I believe that these are uh, going to be truly some of the more interesting points that you'll hear at the conference. And so, to not use up any more time, uh, please extend a, a very warm welcome to our guest speaker from Germany, uh, Professor Earl Gerhardt. Thank you, Peter, for the nice introduction. I will walk around here in order to do also some exercise. And uh, the first slide will show uh, who is my slide girl. I guess it is. Yes. So, a, a little, just a warming up, you know, a little poem. Uh, it's a great honor for me to greet you and a pleasure for me here to meet you. I hope with new information I can feed you without uh, the best financially to bleed you. We must talk about that later. Uh, I want through good lecture to lead you, but the discussion I really do need you for the discussion. Apart from the time still, I do agree to, and so there I will be space for ideas to breed to. So the weather is okay for breeding ideas also, I think, uh, even in the swimming pool. So during the talk, I will try not too much speed. I think I have my difficulties. Um, the slides I expect you can understand and read. I will help the meeting to be successful indeed and that practical, that important practical consequences will succeed. So this was the first English lesson by me. Uh, nevertheless, <laughs> next slide shows uh, how it came uh, to all these things and how I came into contact with Peter. So exercise in immunology personal pathways uh, from victims to the law of information science. Uh, modern medicine now, modern medicine inflammation is in, in the central point. So lectins, uh, I worked with lectins with 1956, I worked with lectins you know, a year, no one of you who has been born at that time already. So upregulation of blood groups and liver lectins, this is very interesting. We have in lectins also an upregulation, downregulation in liver. Lectins are very important because they clear up the serum glycoproteins. When they are old, they are cleared up by the liver, then recycled. So um, the lectins have also great importance for the susceptibility for infections. The so-called open window phenomenon, which you know from exercise, uh, sports people, uh, when they are overtrained, they get infections. This has something also to do with uh, lectins. So, uh, in nowadays, the inflammation marker CRT, reactive protein, and adhesion molecules are very important. So, I came from lectins to the inflammation marker CRP because we thought CRP would be also a lectin. Is it, but it has binding properties similar to. And this has something to do, you know, inflammation markers are very important today uh, for rehabilitation medicine or monitoring coronary groups. And uh, I have uh, in Germany also initiated a great initiative, uh, sports exercise with cancer survivors. Very important that exercise doesn't only uh, reduce the risk of getting cancer, but also uh, with cancer survivors you do exercise and you can uh, reduce the relapse rate drastically. So anti-inflammatory strategy is very good uh, because uh, exercise is one of the best methods for preventing metabolic syndrome, cancer, Alzheimer, autoimmune disease. Oh, we will come someday. Yes, nevertheless. So, next slide. So, so this is my teacher. Uh, he got the Nobel Prize 
for a reaction which you can later show who is interested in show you a very simple reaction, Diane Synthesis. Uh, and uh, he was my teacher and said to me, well, I show his picture, uh, therefore, because he motivated me uh, not to study uh, medicine, but to study chemistry. But I show the picture because he died from metabolic syndrome. He was a genius, but he said, for genius I must have, let's come back to Peter, I must have very, I must have good food, much food, and the brain needs food, and so on. It was, it became bigger and bigger, you know, and then he died from myocardial infarction. After he got the Nobel Prize, he got many honors, invitations, and all this, every invitation and to eat and so on. But I loved him. I liked him. He said to me, well, Jeff, you must be, will become a great chemical uh, investigator, professor, something like that. But then after he died, I had to go back to medicine. Next, please. So what's, what's bad today, what's bad is pro-inflammatory, good is anti-inflammatory, pro-oxidative bad, anti-oxidative well, lack of exercise bad, moderate exercise, I'll tell you, 2,500 calories per week. So uh, the, the American cardiologists and um, the American, they, they came to, to, to uh, a meeting and said what's the best to prevent uh, atherosclerosis and coronary disease, and they, came, they, they said the best would be people would be would uh, act 2,000 uh, do exercise about burning uh, doing exercise two to five thousand uh, calories. Then the, the cancer, the oncologists, uh, the cancer scientists met also and said what would be, what be the best to prevent uh, cancer. So they came to the same to the same number, the same number. So uh, that would be about uh, three hours uh, a week and in different uh, days uh, doing uh, three hours jogging, walking, swimming, something like that, or cycling or whatever it means. So that, this is the best prevention. Nevertheless, stress sensitive is stress resistant. Is the best stress resistant. It's, it's good, and we know already that these people who are stress resistant, they live longer than those who are stress sensitive, like me. I'm completely stress sensitive. You can just feel my hand, it's cold and wet, you know. It's, yeah, that is stress sensitivity, you know. Mine too. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad that my girlfriend is not here yet. <laughs> High caloric restriction, caloric restriction. I have also here my, my, my difficulties with like, well, I am one of yours, you know. I have the same trouble like most of yours. I feel it, not like the other one. I just feel it, one of yours. So, uh, nevertheless, uneducated to be cultured is very important. You must train the brain, otherwise the immune system isn't good, uh, body isn't good, so we must always train to adjust. Not, and, we have very many investigations have been done, but television does not good for your brain. They have told, they have done an investigation, and even if it increases the risk of getting Alzheimer's. It's, it's, it's curious, but I have always the impression that something, uh, I don't know whether Alzheimer's is the one that produced television or one that looked at television, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Only in, informed. Yo, so, where it is only to be informed, there's a computer, computer, you know, the people are completely informed, but, but not in creative anymore. They just go to the internet, you know, and I have, <coughs> excuse me, I've looked for lectures, I hate PowerPoint. You know, people take it all out from the internet, give it as their own production out, you know, and people say, oh, wonderful, marvelous, you know, but it's all from the internet, they take it out. No creative, you must be creative. It's very important. Don't go to the internet and get it. Informed is good, but to be creative is better. Next.